Next question is, are you an Igbo? The answer is yes, I am Igbo. It looks like there's more. Okay, next question says, how long have you been teaching math? Okay, this one, this one is uh, dicey. I have been teaching math since I was a child. I have been teaching mathematics since I was a child. Then you may ask me how and why. Why? Because when I was in high school, this, is, this started from high school, basically. You can say part of middle school and high school because the way we run, the way education is run in Nigeria is uh, you have what you call middle school here is included in high school. So from my, from my seventh grade, yes, that's when I started teaching math. So now, how did I start teaching math when I was still in seventh grade? Well, there were some things I understood in mathematics, which some of my friends did not understand. So I caught those things earlier on and they were coming to me. You know, I was like kind of because math, math is not really an easy subject. If somebody is telling you that math is an easy subject, that's a lie. It is not. So but is it doable? The answer is yes, it is doable. Has people done it? The answer is also yes. Too many people have done what you are doing. Millions. You are talking about millions. So if like 300 million people can do something, so why not you? So, so in my school in those days, so there are certain things that I got earlier on. And somebody actually helped me. Somebody helped me. I, I didn't have, I did not have great um, mathematics teachers, if I would say. Why do I say that? Because the school I attended, it was a rural school. It was a rural school. So no teacher wants to go there. All right, because there are other facilities that are available in urban schools, which were not available in the rural school. So that's the school I attended. Now, uh, one of my senior friends, you know, he helped to brush me up. So once he brushed me up, I got a few things that most of my friends did not get. Then once they discovered that I got that, they started coming to me. So when, I, when they came to me, I would teach them and they would just laugh and we will move on. And um, it continued. It continued until um, the, the science teacher, the science teacher of my school, they, he discovered, he discovered me basically. When I mean he discovered me, he discovered that uh, I was good at mathematics and I was good at another science subject called physics. So he, he, he actually made me a laboratory assistant. So now that opportunity also exposed me to more rigorous mathematics problems. And the number of people I was teaching increased. Then the same thing continued when I eventually got to college in a school called University of Calabar in Nigeria. So uh, before I knew what was happening, my friends and classmates, they started coming to me just to help them. Then once we got out of college, the thing stopped. Then when, uh, when I started doing my, my, my little stuff to help me survive, then more people started coming to me. So when I came to United States to fast forward the story, the whole story, I, I did not go and study mathematics. I didn't study mathematics. I never studied mathematics outside Nigeria. There is nothing I'm teaching you that I learned in America. Nothing. Zero. Everything I'm teaching you right now, I learned them in Nigeria. So, uh, but some of the things will require one mathematics computation or the other. And people started coming to me. So at some point here in the United States, I was engaged there in tutoring. And I don't do that anymore anyway. So it was just a phase of life. So a friend introduced me to tutoring and it was uh, tutoring mathematics. I was teaching mathematics to a bunch of uh, students from various, various schools, okay? When that ended, I moved on with my IT, so information technology. So at some point I had to come back to school, come back to classroom. And when I came back to classroom, I had two valid, Maryland certifications. And I actually had in California, I also had in Maryland. One was science, one was mathematics. So when, when I was hired in PGCPS, the principal that interviewed me, the first time I was hired in PG, PGCPS. So the principal who interviewed me, he, uh, it was actually a lady. So she said, 
that uh, they have two openings, one science, one mathematics, and that, uh, that she discovered that I'm qualified in both, but that she's also looking for another person. I agreed. And then eventually she asked me to step out a little bit, which I did. So uh, when she called me back, after about five minutes, she gave me a math position. So that's how I started teaching mathematics in PGCPS. But it was a, a middle school. I got into PGC, PGCPS through a middle school. Um, unfortunately, I did not like it so much. The reason why I didn't like it so much is because in middle school, you kind of pamper the students a lot. And I don't, I don't like that. Am I making sense? So I don't want a situation whereby the school closes, then I will come and watch the students get into the bus. I don't like that. I want, once the school closes, I will just walk away and go home. So there are other things that uh, you have to, you know, you pass through middle school, so you know how it, it works compared to high school. So I could not wait for that uh, year to end before I got out of um, the middle school. And the way it works is that you have to basically start all over. So I had to attend another job fair where one of the principals of Duval High School was there. It, it, it was a male principal, not, not the ones you see. So, and um, they couldn't wait to get me and they got me. And that's how I ended up in Duval. Now, since I got to Duval, I have requested to switch to science about three times. And there is, um, uh, they said they, are, they need more people in math anyway. So that's why I basically I'm stuck in math. All right. By the way, before I got to uh, PGCPS, I got four different offers. Four, four. I got one from Arunandel, one from PGCPS, one from um, Baltimore. And um, I think I got one more from somewhere. But I chose the uh, PGCPS for some reasons. 